communication works now. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start the first car, then we're going to start the second car, and then I'll need a volunteer, okay, to come up and press and hold the brakes. And when that person holds the brakes, I'd like everybody to look on this iPad to see what happens. All right? Okay? Okay, let's start the first car. Let's start the second car. Who's going to be my volunteer? Jesse, come on down. I need you to press and hold. While she does that, people have a look at the iPad. Press and hold. Okay? So what that means is, let me just stop this for a second. So the fact that the brake was, was pushed was automatically detected by the second car. And by getting that knowledge, you can slow the car down, you can modulate driver behavior, or you can put the brakes on completely. What Cisco is able to do is deliver the fact that that happened with speed, with reliability, and with high level of security. Obviously, you don't want to get a false signal. And you have to get it in real time. And you have to get it reliably. That's the magic of what Cisco provides. As to what happens at the application layer, there's a variety of uh, applications available already on the market now. This will just simply plug into the system. Okay.